Ooh, my hands are dry. Ooh, now my nose is running. Like, why am I such a mess? Tell me what's up, this distant love. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is gonna be a get ready with me. I'm wearing, not wearing a uh, frontal for once. If you guys watched my last vlog, you guys know I'm trying to let the edges breathe before I don't have any left. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's gonna be obviously like a full get ready with me, hair and makeup outfit. There's not really much to do to my hair. My hair was actually done by a hairstylist. I will have the hairstylist's Instagram down below in my um, description bar if you guys you know are in the Toronto or just like the GTA area and are looking for a hairstylist that slays ponytails half up half downs up dudes don't matter she's, she's lit so um yeah what I am gonna do at the end of the video is just kind of like refresh the curls and stuff like that this hair is from Uni's hair it's the Peruvian deep wave texture this is actually the same hair I wore when I went to Dubai not the same exact hair like this is a fresh batch <laughs> batch not cake but you know what I mean so yeah first batch um Peruvian deep wave. I love, 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 love this hair texture. I don't know why. Oh, you know what it is? It's because I'm having coffee. Yeah, I'm a little hyper right now, so I apologize. But um, yeah. Um, I made blends in today, <laughs> and I got my whole life. I really wish that I had filmed it when I was. Sorry, my dog um is over for a few days. This girl is literally sleeping, like knocked out. But yeah, so when my hair was actually first freshly done, you guys, and when I did this look, my hair was like laid, okay, like laid fresh. But I had to redo the ponytail because of course you guys know with the gel and edge control, it gets flaky. So I went back to her to redo the ponytail, but I didn't we didn't wash the top, like she literally like took off the ponytail, took off the tracks off of the ponytail and re-slicked it, but she had to use water. So she sprayed water on it to get rid of some of the flaking. And obviously, you know, if your hair is naturally curly, your hair is gonna wave up. So now it's like wavy. Um, when she had first done my hair, my hair was so slick, you guys. Like, it was like straight. I was like, whoa, cause I, not struggle to get my hair slick, but I've never had my hair that slick before. So I was like really impressed. It looked really good. It blended really nicely, but um, yeah, this is what it's looking like. So that's why that's the only reason why I wish I had done it when my hair was super fresh. But you know, shit happens. It's cool. Whatever. Either way, it's still gonna look cute. So all right, we're gonna go ahead and start off this look. I'm gonna keep my hair. I love how it looks like this, but um, truth be told, you guys, I need to get my underarms waxed, and I just don't want you guys to see me like this. So if I can try like, okay, yeah, this should be fine because I'm really only going to be lifting this arm. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and start off with priming my eyes. I'm going to use the Fenty Beauty The Cure Concealer in 330 on my eyes. Although this is a very glam look, I still wanted the eye look to be simple. To be honest, you guys, I haven't really been like in the mood for cut creases. I mean, the last tutorial I did... I'm pretty sure it was a cut crease, but um, as I've said before, it's not a everyday cut crease. You know, that was a lot of concealer. But um, I don't, know. I don't like. I'm not always in the mood. I feel like literally a cut crease adds like an extra 10, 15, just depending on I don't know your luck that day with you know carving out your eyelid or carving out your crease and. You know, like, you just have, you have to be very careful with it. And it's like, you know, a lot of times we don't, like, I don't, I don't know, just being realistic here. I don't want to sit there and, you know, for 10 minutes. I just want to beat my face and call it a day. So, I really love doing glam looks that don't require a cut crease because, I don't know, I feel like we're so cut crease culture now. <laughs> um... Well, I'll speak for myself. I don't know. I feel like um, doing YouTube too. A lot of people were like, "Sis, can you do some cut creases?" Because y'all know, like, I really like 
my style of makeup is natural soft glam literally like where is it oh the palette i'm freaking using this palette is me okay i'm soft glam queen like i can do dramatic looks and honestly every time i do do dramatic looks because you guys request them i wow myself because i mean i don't do those looks so i didn't really know how good i was and you know like i'm actually pretty fucking sick but it's just not me it's not myself so I do it for you guys, really. I'm gonna set my eyes. Oh, also, if you're wondering why I'm wearing one earring, I went to a party like two or three days ago when I lost my earring. Two days ago, I lost my earring. No, three. It doesn't matter. Um, and I lost my earring. Yeah, I, I like. Uh, I just bought these two. I need to get like. I don't know. I suck at like keeping jewelry. Anyways. Do, 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 do. To be really honest with you guys, I don't remember the exact colors or palettes that I used. To switch it up a little bit, I'm going to be using this palette again. I really, really like this, and I honestly miss using it. I haven't used it in a really long time. I'm going to go into my ABH single shadows. These are all single shadows and like the Z empty palette or whatever. You can customize your palette. I'm going to take the shade called Bengal. Bengal. I don't know how to say it, but I'm. That's going to be my transition. Now, it's not a completely matte shade, and it does have a few little shimmers in it, so um, I'm pretty sure like you call it like a satin shade. This is going to be the only shade that I'm bringing up this close to my brow bone. All the other shades that I use in my crease, I'm just going to blend them out right in my crease. I think without filming, this eyeshadow honestly took me like five minutes. M including mascara and you guys know lashes is like i don't know you can either like have a smooth lash application or that shit can take you like five ten minutes so the next shade i'm gonna use is charming from the persona cosmetics palette although i'm kind of just going with the flow no i am going with the flow for the crease shades because i can't remember exactly what i used I do know for sure that for my lid, I used Paris from the Master Palette by Mario from um, ABH. This shade right here, that's what I used. I'm gonna go ahead and apply that onto my lid. I'm gonna go back into the Soft Glam Palette and I'm just gonna take this shade Cypress Umber behind, beside the black right here. It's like a, hmm, it's more of a cool tone dark brown. I'm using the littlest amount in my outer crease right here. Alright, so I'm gonna go ahead and prep my lashes for some falsies. So I'm gonna use this Velvet Noir Major Volume Mascara from Marc Jacobs. And you guys, I got this in PR and <laughs> they engraved my name into it. Like, that's so freaking cute. I've never had my name engraved on anything. I'm just like, yes. It makes me just want to use it like every day. <laughs> but honestly, this mascara is it's pretty freaking bomb. If you can see. I don't like applying too much because, I mean, I don't want my lashes to be like more clumpy than like the falsies that I'm putting on her. Kind of tacky, but um, yeah. <sighs> I don't remember what lashes I was wearing, you guys. I really don't. Let me actually go back. Look at the pic. I feel like some people actually asked me and I told them, but I just don't remember right now. Hold on. Oh, I know what lashes I was wearing. These are the lashes that I was wearing. These are from Huda Beauty and these are in the style Samantha number seven. Um, these lashes are bomb. That's all I have to say. So I'm going to put these on. And um, of course, I'm going to speed this part up because, I mean, I have an in-depth tutorial on how to apply lashes so and i'm gonna be using the inv by kiss strip lash adhesive with aloe you guys recommended this to me and um, i'm very happy about my purchase it's actually a really good lash glue so thanks guys all right lashes are on they're popping I'm going to go ahead and move on to skin and okay so because I want my skin to be really nice and dewy and I'm not just talking about you know like applying highlight or like a stroke cream I was going to apply like a like a face illuminator but 
I actually just remembered that I used to apply this Radiant Glow Face Oil from Derma E with um, Jojoba, Argan, and Sea Buckthorn oils. Like, I want to say like last year, a year and a half ago. I got this at um, Gem Beauty in the Ipsy bag. And I was like, wait, I need to start using oils again. So I'm going to apply this to my face. Whoop! Shit. I got it on my tube top. This is why you guys gotta have like a makeup shirt. Like I'm not really tripping, cause you know. But I really, really, really like this, and I forgot how much I love it. As you guys can see, I started using it, and then I just fell off. Like I don't know. I like forget that I used to use things sometimes. Okay, that's enough. I'm gonna just like rub this everywhere. I'm so mad that I totally forgot to apply my face moisturizer. I was going to do it on camera um, to show you guys what I've been using. I've been using the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Gel Cream. This has hyaluronic acid in it, and I really, really, really like this. I was supposed to apply this before putting this on, but it's okay. It's whatever. I, I mean, I'm pretty moisturized now, so I'm going to apply, like, a little bit more. There is, like, slight little golden, um, like, reflex in it. Like, they're really small, so I would just say they're, like, little shimmers. And my face is glowing. I want to try the no primer thing. Not today, but I will be trying out, like, the no primer thing. I can't remember the last time I applied foundation without any primer. And, honestly, I kind of do, like, I, I don't know. A part of me kind of believes the myth on, like, you know, primer really isn't necessary. So, I'm using the Huda Beauty Complexion Perfection Pre-Makeup Base. This is such a moisturizing primer, like, god damn. Ooh. Okay, but now my skin is like butter. My skin is about to be sitting. I'm like so excited to see what my foundation is going to come out like. Alright, so, moving on to foundation. I'm going to use the NARS Natural Radiant Foundation. I'm in the shade Tahoe. Oh, honey, this is, like, going on my skin like butter. God. It doesn't even look like I'm wearing foundation. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to need a little bit more on this side because I didn't really apply that much. Yeah. All right. I just don't like having streaks on my face. That's why I go in this beauty blender. Yo, it still looks like I'm not wearing anything. I guess that's the point. So my arms hurting. <laughs> sometimes I have like I don't know. As of recently, I've been having trouble having product stick to my nose sometimes. So that's why I'm applying some more to my nose. And I'm using the sponge for this part. I just noticed that using the brush it didn't really um, help. I'm forgetting about my knocks. Come on. Alright, so to highlight, I'm gonna go in with the Fancy Beauty the Cure Concealer. I'm using 330 and 360. I'm gonna go in with 360 first because it's closer to my shade. I'm only going with going in with like a light amount. And for the rest of my face, nose, chin, and under eye, I'm going in with 330 on top. That's actually a lot. I like, I used a lot just now, so we're going to blend it out, so it's okay. <laughs> I'm going to cream contour. Yep, I'm still using the ABH contour stick in chestnut. For the most part, like, I try to incorporate new products into my videos. But for, like, a lot of things, like, when it comes to my base, I'm very, very stingy with switching it up once I find that something works, like, perfectly for me. And I just feel like if it's broken, if it's not broken, why fix it? You know? So that's why you guys see me using the same thing. I'm going to blend this out with my 830 brush. Up into those temples. 
I'm just gonna blend out the concealer right in here. Try to smash that nose. Yeah, my hands are so ashy. Oh god, I feel like I messed up my um Ooh, my hands are trying. Ooh, now my nose is running. Like why am I such a mess? Oh fuck. Oh my god. Fucking messed up my. Damn it! Oh my god, I'm messing up my makeup. I'm just gonna go in with more concealer because, like, why the fuck not? Oh to set my face and my under eyes, of course, I'm gonna set my under eyes first because they are about to crease. They have actually already started creasing, which is normal for me. But I'm gonna use the Fenty Beauty Instant Retouch. Setting powder in banana. And I'm gonna move into powder contouring. I'm gonna use the NYX contour kit and I'm gonna use the shade Toffee, this one right here, to set my cream contour. Yeah, that's more than enough. <laughs> I went ahead and obviously dusted off that powder. I couldn't keep it on any longer. So much stuff has happened since I turned off the camera. My nose is running. I ruined my makeup. It's not that bad. It's not that bad, but yeah, my under eye, well, this one is creasing like so bad. You guys see that? That little, this crease right here. Oh my goodness. This side is not that bad. It's like regular creasing. I don't know what I did wrong, but we're just going to keep it moving. We're almost done this look anyway, so I'm not about to, you know. Of course, you know, I have to bronze. My skin actually looks really, really good. I think I went a little... I think I went a little... No, I think. I went a little more extra on the contour. So I feel like I kind of already look, look a little bronzed up, but I am bronzed yet, so... I'm going to use the MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in Dark D, my Morphe E4 brush. This is like one of my all-time favorite bronzers. Although I already took outfit pictures for this look when I actually went out, thank God. But I actually need to take pictures today, so after I film this video and get a selfie or just like a thumbnail, actually probably I should take a thumbnail, I mean a selfie, I don't take selfies anymore, I feel like I, I suck at selfies and like now like I'm better at outfit pictures. It's funny because it used to be the other way around, I never, like when I first started YouTube, I never used to post outfit pictures. When I was like insecure about my body. Um... And then, obviously, I do makeup looks, so <laughs> I was really just only doing makeup looks. I wasn't doing outfit videos or fashion videos. But, um, yeah, it's weird. <laughs> I forgot to set my brow bone. Some of you guys know how I feel about a shiny um, brow bone, like with the concealer. Mm -mm. I hate that shit. Here. All right. Some of you guys are probably like, I don't even see the difference, but I knew there is, there's a difference, okay. Yeah, I'm gonna go in with the Morphe Continuous Setting Spray, and you know, just set all the goodness. I'm gonna go ahead and highlight. I'm using the Fenty Beauty Fairy Bomb Shimmer in 24K Ray. This is my favorite highlight right now. Like, I just love it. Look at that, bruh. Oh, sis. Yeah. Right. Okay, I'm looking like the Tin Man a little bit. Just like diffuse that out if we can. A little bit of this powder 
goes a really long freaking way. Okay, let me tell you. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I did an inner corner highlight, but I'm gonna double check. I'm gonna double check because I don't remember. Oh, of course I did. I did it. Yep, right there. Let's do the other side. Right there. Alright. So what I'm gonna do is I feel like the look is very like it's bomb, but I'm gonna add maybe not cypress umber because I don't want my under eyes to be like a dark cool tone gray, which is what I use in my crease. I'm gonna use something. I can find the brush first. I'm gonna just use something that you know is going to add a little bit more detail. So I'm gonna use Sienna, which is like a earth tone brownish red. And I'm gonna put that on the lash line. Okay, I'm gonna use the Mac and Patrick Star Spring Summer collab from last year. And this is in I'm Not Blushing, it's the Powder Blush Duo. I'm gonna use this pink. I'm gonna use it as my blush. It is the blush, so. I love blush now, you guys. Yeah. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get into the lips. I need a new lip liner. <laughs> honestly but anyways i'm gonna use i really honestly truly my dear i'm gonna use the mac cork lip liner or chestnut chestnut this is one of the new power bullet matte lipsticks from Huda beauty and i'm gonna be using the shade joyride obviously i didn't use this when i actually did this look but i really like this lipstick and i'm gonna be doing the gloss on top because i did do a gloss Ooh, no, no, no. That is like, this is so creamy. Damn. Okay, so unfortunately, this is not the shade that I need. I need like a nude. I just gotta go over it with a nude. This is really pink, but it's really pretty and it's really creamy. But I'm gonna go in with the Girls Got Needs from MAC on top. Tone that down. Yes, yes. All right, there we go. I'm gonna go on top of that with the Fenty Beauty Gloss Bomb. This one is in Fenty Glow. This is the first gloss bomb or the original. Honestly, I didn't really need to add gloss because as you guys can see when I um, added the lipstick, my lips were already kind of glossy. I think that's because I had some like lip balm on before because I'm pretty sure this is, it's a matte lipstick, yeah. So either way, the packaging is really, really cute. I didn't even show you guys. Nice and sleek. This is the lipstick. I should have showed you guys before I used it. But it's really, really nice. And they smell. They have like a nice, cute little soft, sweet smell. Um, I just basically detangle the hair. You guys can see it's, det it's detangling pretty nicely. I really, really love this hair. And then I'm going to do the other side. I just basically detangle it so there's no knots. I... Don't really get any like tangles up here. I mainly get tangles like underneath hair, which is like expected in any hairstyle I do. I always get the tangling at the back right here. I feel like it's just cause like it's under everything. So it's, I don't know. <laughs> it's under everything and then probably like sweat and stuff, you know? So it's gonna be tangled. And then what I like to do is I like to wet the hair, slightly wet it. And what I did with the last time I had this hair, I would wet it and then I would put the uh, Lot of Body setting lotion in it. And I think because I was doing that, I wasn't moisturizing it, I wasn't um, conditioning it. The hair got so matted, like after two weeks, I ruined the hair. But um, I've had this in now for basically about two weeks. Or been using this hair for basically about two weeks and I've had it in. And um, it's not tangled like it was when I was in Dubai. So. I'm gonna go to the bathroom and just, you know, add some water to the hair. I don't have a spray bottle, so obviously I gotta get the water from the sink. So obviously you guys are not gonna see me wet it, but I'll be right back, so. I mainly like to focus wetting the ends. I just don't like frizzy ends, but for the most part, um, once it dries, I kinda like to, you know, fluff it out a little bit. Send me with the half of half down. I like some body, some thickness. I don't want it to be like this. No. So, <laughs> I mean, to just, ooh. That's the spot. But um, I need to take this hair out. 
um, to each his own, but this is honestly what I do when I'm going out or like if I have to touch up my hair, literally that's all I do. And I tied on my hair at night. All right guys, so here is my outfit that I wore. I am obsessed with this jumpsuit. This is actually the first like strappy jumpsuit I, I have. So, you know, I needed it. I got this from House of CB. They sent this to me and girl, I love it. And you can't really see it, but there's a like a, a string that it comes with and you just wrap it, tie it however you want. I don't think you can, no. Yeah, it's like sewn on, so I mean, unless you wanna cut it off, but I really like the belt and I just wear it to the side, you know, and then I'm wearing these heels from, where are these from again? Um, Jean Vito Rossi, they're black and gold. I was gonna wear my other like regular black strappy ones, but if you guys know about the ones I have from Pretty Little Thing, I can barely walk in them, so of course, if I'm actually going out and not just taking a picture, I gotta wear these ones. I need to find a pair of plain black strappy heels. This jumpsuit snatches your waist, okay? The only thing I wish about this jumpsuit is that it came in a petite size, and you guys know I'm petite. The good thing about House of CB is they have the best quality for bandage like material clothing like when i tell you their bandage material is bitch it's bandage and it sucks you right in um, not only does it suck you right in but if you are you know fun size quote unquote fun size like i am it's like rippled at the back as you can see because you know it's for some made for obviously somebody taller if their bandage quality wasn't so bomb and fitted and like snatched it would have been a hot mess, but I'm able to get away with it because their quality is so good and fitted that it kind of just, it, it, it just, it makes it work for me, okay? Um, so I'll definitely be getting some more jumpsuits from House of CB, noted. And then also at the back, the zipper's kind of bunched up because my torso is so small, but honestly, my hair covers it, so I don't really, you know, care about it that much. Um, just a thought if you guys are looking to order any jumpsuits from there. And if you are, you know, around five feet. If you're like five two, five three, I think you should be you should be good. But if you're like me, five foot and under, then um, these are some really important things to know in case these might bother you or you might, you know, want to return it. Um, just thought I'd let you guys know. And then my earrings are from Aldo. I love these earrings. I've been on the hunt to get some, what do you call these, like chandelier um, like statement earrings and I just thought these were perfect and I finally got the Perfect opportunity to wear them for the sake of it. I'll bring out the clutch. So this is what I wore and yeah, I hope you guys are feeling the look. I love an all-black look. Nothing beats an all-black look um, Black is my favorite color to wear black is my favorite color to have in my hair, too. So <laughs> uh, Yeah, you guys this is it